Hello and welcome to episode 16 of my Age of Empires 2 HD edition tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on continuing the Maid of Orleans campaign. So you'll remember I was starting to make four knights and a monk which will heal them when they get damaged. I set them to um, defensive stance which means they'll attack anything that's roaming by and follow it for a little bit but then they will eventually head back okay so I still need to put four knights down here uh, to protect from battering rounds because I don't want to use Duke Elecon so what I need to do four more knights and I'll put them inside the gate Oh, so I've run out of food. I need to sort out the food situation. Let's see what's going on with my food. Oh, that's why. So what I'll start doing now is building the farms right next to it. Okay, being attacked. See, here's what I said previously. They're now attacking this wall and my tower full of archers, we'll just kill them and this wall that they're attacking isn't going to do any harm to me because they won't be able to get into my my um, settlement so they're just really pointlessly attacking this wall and I'll just keep repairing it because um, I've got a peasant Oi. left here just for that purpose you see they're being killed off in the meantime I'm building up troops here but it's the battering rams which I've got to be careful of. They're the ones that that will do the serious damage. Hey. Okay, there's still Vilain. farms here, so why Café. aren't you Vilain. farming them? Café. Okay, this uh, he I left this one here to protect this wall. <laughs> Time to do some more archers. So let's put archers. First of all, let's upgrade their bows. And then I want to put them in the towers around this side because these are going to get severely attacked as well. Hmm, and I do need to stick some archers in there. Right, I'm going to have to use this peasant to start getting more food as well because we haven't got a lot of food. So I'll do that That's just yourself. there. Let's put a couple of archers in here. And you keep checking for battering rams. Okay, so I need to put him to that. Bring him in there. Get this peasant now to repair this bit of the wall. Oh, so it looks like a battering ram did come, but the knights dealt with it. See, it's not using any stone up, repairing the wall. So there's a win-win situation for you. You build this wall along here, let them keep attacking it, keep repairing it, because it don't use any stone. And that keeps them busy, whilst you're able to build up your forces. Right, I need to put a monk down here with these. Now they're starting to attack over here. Okay, let's go check up here. We've got a couple of archers. Let's put them in this tower. That gives a bit more pain to the enemy as they pass by. Uh, next, I want to put five archers oh, over here in this tower. Oh, 
there's just a peasant in there. He can actually gather food now. Uh, let's put this next to this. Because what I can do is stack up a few farms. Yep, and that's got farms queued up as well. Okay, so that's my food going up now. Oh, what's attacking me? Okay, start to put these archers in here. That archer I'll put in here. <clears throat> and this one can go in here as well. Bonjour. Okay, so I'm getting a ring of of uh, defences with all the troops that I'm making. Okay, so these knights now, because they're going to get healed, can be just outside the gate to fight off any battering rounds. I'll bring my monk closer to them. Leave it. And I'll put one more knight there. Oops, no, didn't want to do that one. Want that one. Put him to defensive stance. Now the next thing I want to do is make a trade cart or a couple of trade carts because they're going to be an unlimited source of gold for me. I'll just send them back and forth to the enemy's uh, market. The further markets are apart, the more money the trader will get with each trip. Um, the closer they are, obviously the less money. So this is quite an okay distance from there to there. They'll keep streaming back and forth and I'll show you how much gold they get. Okay, so what we do, select that trade cart, right click the enemy. And now they will just go back and forth. So if we watch, off they go. What's attacking me? Yeah, they certainly don't give up, but now they've got two towers attacking them, so they won't last long. Okay, there's my trade cart, off he goes. Yeah, he'll get attacked, but that's alright. I need to put some archers in the turret, or another tower there. So let's build one more tower and put it there. Okay, so that's my two trade carts going back and forth. Let's check so you can see that he's got 10 gold. Did take a bit of damage, but hopefully once my towers are done, they'll stop being attacked. Okay, let's do a couple more archers. You see these trade carts now, we'll just keep going back and forth. 
Okay, let's see, where's my next idle peasant? So I need to keep that one there for repairing this. He's not getting healed, so let's put him closer. There you go. Gotta keep your eye on that. These monks can get a bit lazy. Oh, here we go, look at that. See the battering ram? So, what we do... We use these troops to destroy them, annihilate them, before they start to destroy my wall. There we go. You've just got to keep your eyes open for them. Uh, only in the early stages of the campaign, once you get strong enough. So now I need, I want to build some Oi. siege equipment so I can start going on the offensive. So let's make it over here. Siege workshop and yeah, I'll pull it over here. Pastiso. And now... I can start throwing battering rams at the enemy instead of them doing it to me. Remember I need to take one of their towers, one of their castles I need to destroy. Now I'm running out of troops uh, so I can only have another 19 troops so about 9 of them are going to be siege. Right, okay, so I'm going to go with battering rams. It costs 160 wood and 75 gold. This person I will get chopping wood, because I'm going to need lots of wood now. Let's upgrade that, the woodcutters. Oh, where am I being attacked? See my trade carts. Initially they got attacked, now they're just left to do to get on with it. I can use my monk to heal them. It's not a great deal of gold, but just bear in mind that they'll keep doing that regardless. Okay, let's put my new battering rams over here. Right, okay, don't think I need him up there now, so let's get him gathering wood as well. You see, look, they come, they come up the side of my walls, and between the towers and the knights, they get annihilated. beautiful thing is, look, they go back to the position where they get healed by the monk. See how perfect that is? There is some good strategy going on here. Okay, so what next? Just waiting for my resources to build up. I'm getting a few now rams, but I need lots more wood. So I could make some peasants okay. to temporarily... Okay. Oui. I could do more peasants to gather more wood. I love the way that that's healing that trade cart. It's so cool, this monk. Oui. Cert. Let's have a look at what else we can give the monk skill-wise. So, units garrisoned in and buildings heal four times faster. Don't really need that. I'm going to go on the offensive. Uh, com units converted by an enemy monk or missionary die instead of changing to the enemy's colour. That's a good one. Uh, but I don't need it in this campaign. Monks are 50% more hit points harder to kill. 120 gold. Yep, let's do that. Oh, 
Oh, there's the timer, but I'm going to go a little on, a little longer because I want to try and destroy a bit of this, this one up here. Uh, how many have we got battering rams? We've got five. Now, what I intend to do is throw a load of knights with them. So, let's start building up some knights over here. And some archers. Now, Joan of Arc, I do not want anywhere near the fighting. Libre. do start upgrading them. I've done all the upgrades to that. Uh, we're of course going to need a monk with these. Oh, I think I might have reached my limit. Prêt. Livé. Where am I? Am I? Yeah, I must be at my limit. Um, oh no, or maybe I just haven't got enough gold. Yeah, I haven't got enough gold, so I have to wait for my trade cards to get me more gold. Right, that's all my knights done. Let's cancel some of these until I get a monk. Oh, no, I don't want two monks. One is sufficient. And then the rest can be archers. That should take me up to my 75. Okay, now while I go and fight the enemy, I shall just let my food and resources build up. I shall leave my defences around my base. Uh, these I need to destroy because they're just wasting eunuch. They're just a waste. Don't need them. That gives me then two extra troops. Oh, here come battering rams. Okay, let's do, shall I do two more archers or two more rams? Let's do two more rams. <laughs> These can all now go out oh, here. Yeah. don't want them attacking this of course so I'm going to bring them up here uh, see just what I don't want don't want you to attack that because that's going to give me unlimited money Uh, 
Certo. Certo. Where are you going, you silly? Libe. Ran. Certo. Que fait? Certo. Oh, yeah. Certo. Okay, so now let's scout a little bit of this area out. There's a wall protecting the castle and a turret there. So, what I'm now going to do is bring the rams in and start attacking this wall. Da. Pre. Assault. Bonjour. Que y a? Bonjour. Now I'll have these troops ready. Oh. Da. In case they send in their foot soldiers to destroy my rams. Which they're doing that. We don't want them running off because they've got to protect these rounds. The rams destroy, <coughs> destroying this wall. Oh. No. oh, yep, they've broken through. So now we'll send the rams into destroy this. We don't need the whole wall destroyed after all. We'll send these in here. And start attacking this castle. So we need to defeat. belongs to Britain now. Never forget that. Hmm. We, we, we will see about that. So there we go. Complete this campaign now. Let's go and see the end cinematic. Oh, so I need to go to quick current game. John prophesied that she would be wounded at Orléans. At the height of the battle, an arbalest boat knocked her from her horse. We could not believe our misfortune. But as we carried Jean away from the carnage, the battle was won. Orléans was free. When we entered the city, the entire population cheered us on from windows, rooftops, and city streets. They fired artillery into the night sky and shouted aloud their nickname for Jean, La Poussin, the Maid of Orléans. Okay, so there we are. Let's take a look at the next 
a campaign which is the cleansing of the Louvre. Uh, okay, so I'll end the episode here. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.